Okay, to rotate, you're gonna need your protractor, your ruler, number two pencil. Let's go. <laughs> so to rotate this shape 90 degrees clockwise around the origin, which is the point zero zero, you're gonna take your protractor and you're gonna line it up on the origin. Okay, line up the zero degrees on the first point you want to rotate. So say you want to rotate point A, you're gonna line up your protractor like this. You're gonna line up that line right on A. And the tricky part is making sure that it lines up nice, something like that. Okay, so you're doing a 90 degree rotation, so you're gonna go from zero to 90 degrees. Uh, make a little mark there at 90. And then you're gonna grab your ruler but you could also use your protractor for this next part and just draw a straight line from the point of rotation to that tick mark you made. Just draw it really lightly. Okay, you are almost done. Um, you're gonna notice that point A is two diagonal units away from the origin. It's now gonna be two diagonal units away from the origin on this line that you just drew. So point A is actually gonna rotate and it's gonna be right here. So you can go ahead and label that a prime. Let's now do point B. So again, you're going to grab your trusty protractor. You're going to line up zero degrees on B and make sure that the crosshair of your, of your protractor is on the origin. Something like of that. Okay. Bling, bling. Now, from zero to 90, like this. Again, you can draw a straight line from the origin to that point. So B is gonna fall somewhere along this line. This one's a little trickier because you can't see how many diagonal units away it is from the origin. So this is where your ruler is gonna come in handy. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna measure from B to the origin and figure out how many millimeters or centimeters it is. So it looks like I got about 2.8 or 2.9 centimeters from the origin. I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna start at the origin again, but I'm gonna go along this line. I'm gonna measure about 2.8 or 2.9 centimeters. So here's 2.8 right here. So that means that point B, after it rotates 90 degrees, is actually gonna land right there. Okay, usually once you have two of the three points, you can probably guess where C is gonna go. So I can kinda see that I'm gonna guess that C goes right here. I can double check with my protractor. So once again, I can line up my protractor. This time I'm interested in point C. So I'm gonna line up zero degrees there. I'm gonna mark from zero to 90, so there's 90 degrees. I'm gonna draw my line like this, and I already see, no pun intended, I can already see that it's going through the point that I'm guessing. Um, I can confirm with my ruler, I can measure, it looks like it's about 3.2 centimeters away. So again, I'm gonna go on that line, and I can see that we got about 3.2 centimeters away. So I'm really sure that that is C prime. So once you have that, you can grab your ruler and you have successfully rotated your triangle 90 degrees about the origin. Right on. Woo! Good job, yeah! Okay guys, say you wanna rotate the same shape as last time, except this time we're gonna do 180 degrees about the origin. You, this time we're gonna rotate, again, ABC, but we're gonna go 180 degrees clockwise around the origin. Um, we have a rotation from last time, so you actually have two options. You could do a 90 degree rotation on this shape, um, and that would be equivalent to 180 because 90 plus 90 is 180. Or um, you can do what I'm about to do and I'm gonna take my original shape and I'm gonna just do the 180 degree rotation. So, same idea as before. Um, I'm gonna take my protractor and let's say I wanna know where point A is gonna end up. So I line up the crosshair on the point I'm rotating around. So in this case, it's the origin. I'm gonna line up zero degrees on point A. 
and that just takes a little bit of juggling here so that looks probably about right okay so I'm gonna go from 0 degrees I'm gonna go all the way to 180 and I'm gonna make a little mark there I'm gonna grab my protractor and I'm gonna draw a very faint straight line from the origin to that point so now I know that point A is gonna land somewhere on that line. How far away? Well, it's actually quite easy. Uh, it's two diagonal units away on this side, so it's gonna be two diagonal units away on this line. You can see that it's probably meant to go through that corner, so that's gonna be A prime. Um, let's say I wanna know what happens to point B now. So again, I'm gonna line up my protractor on zero, zero. I'm gonna line up zero degrees on point B. Uh, this is the part where probably taking that extra few uh, seconds to make sure that it lines up nicely is going to make a big difference. Um, if you're even off by a few degrees, you might get a little bit of a wonky looking picture. But if it's on grid paper, usually you can see um, what's supposed to happen. So again, I'm going to go from 0 degrees over to 180. Make a little tick mark. I'm going to grab my protractor. I'm going to draw a straight line from the origin through that mark. And I can see that point B is going to land somewhere along this line, hopefully. Um, to figure out exactly where along that line it's going to land, I'm probably going to have to measure from point B to the origin over here. So I think we did this last time. Looks like about 2.8 or 2.9, somewhere in between centimeters. So again, it's going to be that distance on this line. And I think I actually kind of messed up the line here. Um, so let's see what happens. So yeah, it looks like it should land right at about 2.8, which is right here. So I'm going to make a dot. You can see that my line is actually a little bit off. When I drew the straight line, I didn't quite go through that point, and I didn't quite go through the origin. So this just kind of demonstrates, if you kind of mess up just a little bit, um, what can happen. But I know that A and B should be along the same vertical line, so that's how I know it needs to land there. Uh, so again, to do point C, I'm going to guess that it's probably looks like it should go right through this point here. But I'm going to double check with my protractor. So again, I go on the origin with the crosshairs. I line up point C at 0 degrees, like that. I'm going to go 0 to 180, make a little tick mark. I'm gonna, this time, I'm going to make sure I really go through my origin. And I'm going to line up my protractor with that tick mark. Going to make a really, really faint line. And you can see that I probably guessed right. To be really sure, I can grab my ruler, measure how far away C is from the origin over here. Looks like it's about 3.3 centimeters away. It's going to be the same distance along this line. So let's see if that works. I got 3.3, so I'm pretty sure this is C prime. You're done. Get your ruler draw your triangle and enjoy your great success. Perfect.